this is one of those issues that needs to be dealt with? Well, this is a serious issue, what we're dealing with. Um, this is where Minister Farry from the Alliance Party is imposing almost a 30% cut on this institution. This institution behind us here, St Mary's, has been on the Falls Road for over 100 years, been delivering excellence in education. We have excellent teachers coming out of here year on year. There's a thousand students currently on this campus and over 160 staff members. All adds to the economic regeneration of West Belfast. And the Minister needn't think that he's going to get away with this. This is a fight that this community, the students and this institution will fight and it's a fight that they will win because it's on for on this institution. We have raised this with Minister Farry in recent weeks uh, and what we've done is also we've met him just last week. I've met with the special advisor today again. We have a meeting with him next week with Martin McGuinness as well and we also have an adjournment debate in the assembly for next Tuesday. So this is a battle. The students will be protesting up in Stormont next week as well. And in just the space of 24 hours, the students put an online petition up and over 5,000 people signed their signature that. That's absolutely amazing. Some of the Facebook pages have hit over 100,000 within two days. Then figures alone will tell you that this is a campaign where people will win. This is a campaign where the Minister, with regards to the special premium, because it is a special premium for small institutions between here and St Millis, is the only cuts that he's doing with regards to that. They're the only two universities he's taken up to 30%. All the rest is under 10 and I think that's totally disgusting from the Minister, I think it's wrong from the Minister, and I think the Minister needs to pull back from that. And that's what these students here today, this is this protest is about today, and that's certainly what I'm about today as the MP for West Belfast. Our party in Sinn Féin has taken this to the fore. Ogre Sinn Féin, who are members of this university, have taken this challenge and taken this challenge directly to the Minister. The Minister must resist. The people of West Belfast are standing firmly right behind St Mary's and they're not going to lose this battle at all. Shannon, how important is it that St Mary's stays open? So important. St Mary's, as it says on my poster, St Mary's isn't just a university, it's a family. St Mary's is completely unique. Uh, well, well, it's an absolute disgrace as a student and as a young person coming from West Belfast. Uh, this college here, it's been around us for the last 100 years. Um, it's produced a positive atmosphere to the people and especially young people of West Belfast. It's given them hope, it's given them inspiration and it's just, it's, we're absolutely gutted and you can see the anger and the emotions from involved in people here today with uh, Minister, uh, Minister Farr's decision. Well, we miss Gary Frassel or Neve Wara Tarish to create this event school. I guess um, the other way I'm doing it like Jenny and Kenya should do. Um, Kenya and, uh, and college student Noel School not well made. Able to Frassel or I guess she'll um, touch in Glasgow. Go well. Um, then you're gonna Gary and and college to show. I will agree. Lar here well first year judging. I guess Sprague and Shame on on Tridge or a Hun Marker is is Ash in Take done football at you. I guess I hand in you in the counter. Colette, over from Queen's to show solidarity to the students of St Mary's. Yes, indeed we are. I'm delighted with the crowd here today. At the end of the day, what's happening here is an utter disgrace. Uh, St Mary's Teaching College provides not only employment, but uh, education and creates our teachers. And it's, a, it's in the heart of the community of West Belfast. I'm glad to be here today as Chair of Queen's uh, University of Belfast, uh, Sinn Féin coming, and to be joined with uh, many other young Republicans. Um, at the end of the day, as Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful tool we can use to change the world, and there is no way that Stephen Parry should be able to um, have it shut this place down. Carlsberg don't do universities, but if they did, they would be won. Rosie McCorley, incredibly important this campaign's won, not just for West Belfast, but indeed Irish language, medium Irish language. No, it is. It's really, really important for West Belfast because the historical uh, uh, significance of St Mary's uh, College in this part of the city can't be forgotten. And it's uh, it's got significance too for um, education throughout the north and beyond, but also in terms of Irish medium education. It's a college that produces the Irish teachers, which feeds the sector, which is producing the you know the Gaelicus, the Irish medium education, which so many children are are getting benefit from and they wouldn't get it anywhere else so it's hugely important but the significance too is it's a historical building in West Belfast which has greater community uses beyond beyond the educational facilities of the college and uh, many 
community events here. Um, Phil and Fubble uses this place. It's, it's one of the locations for many, many of the important events that, that Phil and Fubble hosts every year. So uh, it's just it's just so important uh, at the, in the current climate that we do not see this historical building and this valuable resource closing down for the people of West Belfast and the people of the north beyond that. Nelson Mandela once said that education is the most powerful tool that we can use to change the world. It would seem that Minister Farrier would want to undo that and take a step backwards. We're saying shame on you, Farrier. Shame on you. We're saying no to his own political agenda. This is for Farrier to make himself look good with the alliance. But we're saying no. We're not second class citizens anymore. here just to keep the push of social media going. Follow us on Twitter, Save St Mary's, hashtag Save St Mary's. Stephen, we ain't leaving. <laughs> keep it going. In just over 48 hours, we have got over 6,000 signatures to say that St Mary's is going to stay. So we need to keep that momentum up. After today, don't just leave this rally and go home and say that's the end of it. You need to keep it going. Next week, Stormont on Tuesday, we're going to have a massive rally and continue to put pressure don't think that just because you're students that you won't have an effect. If we come together in mass numbers, we will put the pressure on fire and continue for this to keep going. I just want to say a major thanks to the union and to Sinn Féin Republican Youth for they have worked tirelessly in the background to get today and yesterday organised and next Tuesday at Stormont. So just stand with them and continue the fight. The ranch, the ranch, the ranch is on fire. The ranch, the ranch, the ranch is on fire. Very me loud.